Okay, so this is the last part in chapter 27. So it is about uh, the RC circuit, uh, about the resistor and capacitor. Okay, so actually it is the most simplest case. The, the, the simplest case is a uh, resistor, a uh, series with a uh, capacitor. Okay, so and then we will see uh, the so-called the transient, uh, the transient response. Okay, so here it said uh, we try to charge a capacitor, charge a capacitor. So it means that here we have a resistor, we have a capacitor, and then we have A and B node. Okay, so for node A we have a battery, uh, we have a battery, or we have a EMF. A constant, uh, constant EMF. So you can consider it's a battery with um, uh, with potential difference E, and then this point is B. Okay. So actually, we can simply consider this node is uh, is a ground. Uh, is a ground. Okay. So here we try to write a differential equation uh, dif uh, describing this circuit. Okay, so the idea here is that, okay, we can somehow consider it is nothing but um, EMF, and then we have a resistor, we have a, a, a capacitor uh, connecting like this, and actually this E is only on after um, after T equals zero, uh, after T equals zero, and before T equals zero, we we assume that this uh, VC, uh, VC is uh, is zero. Okay, i what I mean is that VC uh, T is equal to zero when T is smaller than uh, smaller than zero. Okay, uh, or zero S. Okay, so just before everything starts, and when T equals zero. Uh, the switch goes from point uh, node B to node A, so that this battery is uh, connected to this uh, RC circuit. Okay, so here we have this kind of uh, initial condition, but actually not quite uh, the uh, initial condition. So what we really need is VZ zero plus. Uh, VZ zero plus would be equal to Vc0 minus, uh, which is 0 volt, uh, 0 volt. Okay, because as I, as I mentioned before, the, um, the voltage across the capacitor is, uh, is continuous, but the, current, uh, but the current is not, okay? So before T equals 0, the current I also is also 0, uh, is also 0 when T is uh, smaller than 0. Yeah, but not for t uh, is uh, larger than zero. So let's see how we can write a differential equation. Actually, we still use the KVL. Uh, we still use the KVL to um, uh, to write the ODE. Okay. Let's say we start from uh, we start from this point. Uh, this is our beginning. Okay. So let's go here from. Uh, from, let's go from here to this node, okay, to this node. So this is a ground, okay, this is a high voltage, so we have a positive E, a positive E. And then, and then actually, we assume that uh, the current is I, because it's a single loop. So we consider the current over the whole circuit is, is I, okay. So in this case, uh, when the current I go from here to here, okay, so from this point to that point, uh, we will have a rotate job. So it is actually equals to um, R times I or I times R, okay. Uh, okay, so this is a, uh, this voltage is like going up and then R I is like going down. So we put it on the other side. And then also for the for here for this capacitor, as I mentioned, uh, I equals C D V D T. Okay, so actually we can consider it's a V C first. Okay, and what we know is is that I equals C D V C D T. Okay, this is uh, uh, what I have mentioned uh, last time or yesterday. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, due to Q equals CV, and then you take the derivative on both sides, you have I equals CV, VCDT, 
for capacitor and be careful about the, the, the polarity, okay? The current is going live from top to bottom and then this is like also like voltage drop, okay? Vc is the potential at this point subtracting this point, okay? So this is Vc, so I, I in this direction equals Z dBc dt, okay? And here, here, we would like to uh, solve it, solve this, uh, some, somehow I like joint uh, differential equation, but hopefully this is easy to um, make it like a, a single uh, constant coefficient of the So here we have this i, we have this i. So here we try to substitute this i by by this stuff, uh, by this uh, CDV, CDT. So here we have uh, e equals r times uh, c dv dt. Okay, plus a VC. Okay, so here we more or less have a first order, first order constant coefficient of ODE because you can see this is a constant. Okay, RC is a constant, and then this is a one, one multiplied by VC. So this this constant is a one is a constant. Uh, uh, this coefficient is a is a one is a constant. Okay, so um, so this is a more or less a constant coefficient of ODE. But uh, we try to actually divide Rc on both sides, okay? Divide Rc on both sides, okay? So then we make the leading coefficient to be one. So it looks like Vc dvc dt plus one over Rc vc equals e over Rc, okay? So this is actually our, our first order constant coefficient of DE. And uh, yeah, so I hope you already know how to solve this kind of uh, uh, constant coefficient ODE. And the first step is to solve for the homogeneous solution. So to make uh, is to make the right hand side to be zero, and then we try to find the solution VCC, uh, the complementary part or the homogeneous part. So here we have uh, this is the first. Uh, First derivative, we make it a one, and then we plus a one over R C, and then V C is the original function, so we change it to one, and then equals zero. So here we have S equals negative one over R C. So this is our uh, the characteristic value, uh, the characteristic value. This is the characteristic equation or the uh, auxiliary equation. So this is the uh, characteristic value. Uh, this is the third Okay, so in in such a way we have a VCC equals uh, a times exponential to negative t over RC. Okay, so if you don't remember, actually, this means that exponential to s t is a solution. So plugging s to be one over RC here, negative one over RC here, we have this stuff, and then actually this. ODE is linear, so uh, multiplying a to the to the solution will also be solutions, okay, to the homogeneous uh, equation, okay. So actually, we, this is the homogeneous part, and then the particular part of this part, e is a constant, r is a constant, c is a constant. So the on the right side is a constant. So this is a zero order polynomial. In such a way, we will um, assume that the particular solution VCP to be an other constant B. Okay, and then we try to plug this one back to here. So the first derivative DVC DT, uh, DVCP DT, uh, the derivative of constant is zero, and then zero plus a one over RC, and then times B equals E over RC. Okay, we just plug in this one. Uh, back to the original uh, differential equation. So RC, RC cancel, so we have B equals E. Okay, so in such a way we have uh, VC to be VCC plus uh, VCP. VCP, okay, so the complete solution is the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. So it is actually E uh, plus A exponential to negative t over rc okay so this is known this is known and this is an unknown variable to be determined okay if we don't have initial condition then uh, we may not be able to determine a but actually we have this 
initial condition. Okay, the initial. This is the initial. I'm oh, sorry. Initial condition. Initial condition. Uh, I C. Okay. Initial condition is a uh, V C zero plus equals to uh, zero volt. Okay. So which means that V C zero is actually E plus A times exponential to zero is one. So which means that E plus A equals zero. So which means that A equals negative E. Okay, so plugging it back, we have a Vc of uh, is a function of time. So it is uh, e times one minus exponential negative uh, t over r c. Okay, so this is the voltage uh, or the potential difference across the capacitor. So which is actually this one, uh, which is actually this one. Okay, so yeah. So how to get this? How to get this? To get this, we can use I equals C D V C D T. Okay, and then we try to uh, take the derivative of this of this stuff. Okay, so here we have a C times the derivative. Okay, the first term is E. Okay, E is a constant. So taking the derivative, we become a zero, and then minus this stuff. Okay. Uh, actually, e times this stuff. Okay, so we are, here we have a e times exponential to negative t over r c, and don't forget the chain rule. Okay, we need to take the derivative of the exponent here. So here we have a negative one over r c. Okay, something like this. Okay, so finally, finally we have c and c cancel. This is a zero, so nothing. We have a two negative sign, so finally we have e over r and then times exponential to negative t over r c. Okay, so this is actually this stuff. Okay, so um, so the idea here is to yeah is to actually find uh, is to actually find the uh, yeah the current uh, the current i going through this uh, r c circuit. And also, we can find the, uh, the voltage across this capacitor. And uh, of course, the the voltage across the resistor is nothing but I times R. Okay, I times R. So which is nothing but E times exponential to negative T over R C. Okay, and so we need to pay attention that I I just mentioned the current of a capacitor is not necessarily con uh, continuous. So here. It has uh, something like e zero plus is like uh, exponential uh, e over r e over r exponential to negative zero, uh, which is uh, one. So this is not zero, and actually i zero minus is zero because yeah because before t z t equals zero, which means t is if let t is less than zero, s connect to this point. And there is no current and no voltage, uh, yeah, across R and C. Okay, so here we have a I C zero plus is uh, zero, but I C zero, uh, sorry, I C zero minus is zero, but I C zero plus is not zero. It's E over R. Okay, so it is not equal to I C uh, I zero plus. Okay, not continuous. Not continuous. Okay, so any questions? Okay, um, and um, So yeah, so the next part is, so after we charge the capacitor, we try to discharge it, okay? So which means that here, suppose when t equals, uh, t, sorry, t equals, t is less than zero, okay? S is, uh, S is connected to A, okay? And at t equals zero, 
then S is uh, going to connect to node B, okay? So which means that it is a uh, yeah, line moving down at t equals zero. So we already assume that yeah, the, the capacitor is uh, sufficiently charged to a potential V zero. So it means that it means that V Z zero minus equals uh, V zero. Ah, this is the this is the initial condition. This is the initial condition, and it will be equals to V Z zero plus. Okay, so because uh, the the voltage across the capacitor is is continuous. Okay, so here, so here we try to find the current after the switch is uh, going to node B. Okay, so here, so here the the circuit is looking like this. Uh, we only have a resistor, we only have a capacitor, and we have VC, uh, we have uh, some, some charges uh, stored at the capacitor, so VC0 minus is equal to uh, V0, okay? We have a VC0 plus equals VC0 minus equals V0, and, um, and uh, for this circuit, the the ODE, the ODE will be quite similar to this one, except we don't have this E, yeah, because for this part, when T is larger, uh, when T is larger than zero, we have E. Uh, we connect this RC circuit to the battery. Okay, so we have E on the left side, but here we try to discharge the capacitor. So here we don't have this battery. So the only difference is. It's like uh, we have a zero equals uh, Ri uh, plus uh, Vc, so it is uh, Rc dVc dt plus uh, Vc. Okay, so here we try to divide Rc on both sides, so we have a dVc dt plus one over Rc Vc equals zero. Okay, so here. We actually only have the homogeneous part, so which means that we have V C equals A to A times exponential to negative T over R C. Okay, we don't have the particular solution because on the right side we only have a we only have a zero. Okay. So which means that we don't have we on, we don't have any input, we don't have any battery to this linear system. Okay. So you can also consider on the right side Origin is a G of T. G of T you can consider is like an input. It's like an input. Okay, so for a circuit, uh, the input can be provided by a battery. It can be provided by a battery. But here we don't have a battery, we don't have any input. So no input, so we don't have any particular solution. We only have the homogeneous solution as the complete solution. So in such a way, we have a VC0 plus equals. Uh, a times one, okay, exponential to negative zero over R C. So this is a uh, one. One times a is a. So is equal to v zero. So here we have a v zero equals a, which means that v c uh, v c of uh, t is uh, sorry v zero exponential to negative t over R C. Okay. So this is uh, trivial. Okay, so this is actually this one. It is this actually this one, and we can also find i. I i is actually c d d c d t. Okay, so here we have a c times d d c d t. Okay, v c is this stuff. So taking the derivative, we have a v zero exponential to negative t over r c, and then for the chain rule, we have. Uh, negative one over R C. Okay, so this is D V C D T. Okay, and uh, we can actually cancel this C with this C. So finally, we have a negative V zero over R, V zero over R times exponential to negative T over R C. So this current is actually negative. Which means that originally we still define i to be uh, clockwise, but in this case t is negative, which means that this charge is actually like going out. It's actually like going out. Although we still define this i to be clockwise, so that 
we will have the same uh, expression. Right? We will have the same expression and same polarity for the VC so that we don't get confused. But uh, here we have a negative. Uh, we have a negative I, which means that the charge is like going out. The current is going uh, counterclockwise. So actually, this is uh, the same, exactly the same as this one. Okay, actually this ends uh, chapter 27, but uh, we can also uh, uh, talk about the um, RL circuit in, the, in chapter 30. Okay, in chapter 30, I have mentioned that we have a RL circuit, something like this. Okay, so this is the expression of the R, of the I uh, across the the RL circuit. Okay, so here we can somehow derive uh, why the why the um, why the solution is like this, and actually it has a similar uh, similar form with the RC circuit. So I try to repeat it because I think you may not be able to. Uh, yeah, understand the, how to solve a differential equation. So I try to uh, do it again so that you can have one more chance to familiar with uh, how to solve it. Okay, so here we still have a battery. Okay, we still have this battery. But usually I try. To, I, I like to you. I like to write it as a plus minus with a circle. Okay, to to it means that it is an independent source or a battery. Okay, so here we ha also have a have an inductor, and then with a uh, sorry, it should be it should be it should be a resistor, a resistor, and then this is a, a in, an inductor. Oh, so this is RL circuit. Okay, so this is RL circuit. Okay, so this is uh, so we have uh, also the current going clockwise, and then this is VL. Uh, this is VL. Okay, so uh, also we have uh, we have I L zero plus equals I L zero minus to be zero a. Okay, we have this this to be the initial condition. Uh, this is the initial condition. Initial condition. This is the initial condition. Okay, so just as what I mentioned before. The current of the inductor continu is continuous, but the voltage across the inductor is not. So we don't we don't have a V zero zero uh, V L zero plus uh, equals to zero. This is not correct. So because this is not equal to zero, uh, this is not equal to zero. So you should pay attention. Okay. So yeah, actually there is the difference between the RC circuit. So but uh, yeah, actually we can do it uh, similarly. So also we start from we start from this point and then going this way, uh, going this way. So actually going across this uh, battery is like going up. So we have E, and then this is going down, going down. So we I put it on the right side. So for the resistor, it is R times I, uh, V equals I R for the resistor, and then for the for the L, L is uh, V L. Uh, VL and also we have a VL equals L DI DT. Uh, this is the uh, self induction, uh, self induction in chapter 30. Okay, so in such a way we can plug in VL uh, uh, with this uh, with this expression. So we have a R times I plus L DI DT. Okay. Oh, maybe I just uh, write this E here. So E equals to this thing. And then I try to divide uh, divide L on both sides. Uh, divide N on both sides. L on both sides. So that the leading coefficient, uh, leading coefficient becomes a 1. Okay. So we have a DI DT plus R over L uh, times I equals E over L. Okay, so we try to find the homogeneous solution S. Okay, the first derivative becomes S and then plus R over L, and then this is a one for the original function equals zero. Okay, 
So for the homogeneous solution, we try to make uh, the right side to be zero. So we have uh, S equals negative R over L. So which means that VLC, the homogeneous solution or the complementary solution is A times exponential to negative RT over L. Okay, negative RL is, is the S, okay, it's the exponential to ST. Okay, so A times exponential to negative RT over L is the homogeneous solution. Okay, similarly, we have, a, we have a constant on the right side, so we just assume VLP, the particular solution, to be an other constant. Okay, and then we try to plug in this one back to the original function equation. So we have the first one is the derivative of a constant is a zero, and then plus r over l times i is, sorry, this is v, uh, this is v, uh, this is i, this is i, oh, <laughs> this is all i, okay, i l c, uh, or i, or maybe I can just write i, i is okay because uh, this is i, I don't write i l. Okay, so I just make it IC and IP, okay? Okay, so uh, IP, uh, when I try to plug in IP back to here, so we have a 0 plus R over L and then times R over L times I. IP is uh, B, uh, sorry, B, B, and then equals uh, E over L, E over L. Okay, so in such a way we can cancel L on both sides, so we have a B equals uh, e over R, uh, B equals E over R. Okay, so this is actually IP, so I equals IC plus IP, okay, which is E over R plus A times exponential to negative uh, RT over L. RT over L. Okay, so this is the complete solution, and then we still have this unknown variable. So we need to make use of this initial condition to find this unknown variable. So here we have i, uh, or maybe I can just make it i, i, i is okay, i0 plus i0 minus. So i0 plus is actually e plus r, uh, e over r plus a times exponential to 0 is 1. So e over r plus a equals zero, uh, equals this zero. Okay, so here we have uh, a equals negative e over r. Okay, so yeah, so packing it back to here, so i is actually e over r and then one minus exponential to the negative r t over l, okay? Okay, so this is actually this one, actually this one. <coughs> so actually here, we, uh, the, 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 the textbook doesn't tell you the expression of VL, but similar, we can also determine VL as uh, LDIDT, LDIDT, so here. The first thing, uh, the third is the constant. So taking the derivative, we become a zero. So here we have L times the derivative of the second term. So it is a E over R times negative E uh, to negative RT over L, and then times the chain rule for the negative R over L. Okay, so here we can cancel R, R, and L, L. Okay, so finally it becomes E times, uh, yeah, we have a two negative sign, so it is E times exponential to negative RT over L. Okay, exponential to negative RT over L. So you can see here, this is uh, E times exponential to negative RT over L. Okay, understand? Moving by.